Good afternoon for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown, where I'll take you through some of the top local headlines and give an inside look as to what the 4 News Now team is working on today. Starting with a look outside, continuing this warming trend we have been seeing, uh, there's going to be still sun and mixed clouds as we look for a high in the mid 80s today. It's going to get hot quick, so be sure to hydrate and take breaks when necessary necessary if you're working outside. It's going to stay hot all week, pretty much statewide as we look ahead. Uh, we could be touching the low 90s by Thursday, and that Thursday night into Friday is where we could see a chance of thunderstorms if that heat does continue. So be aware of that heading into the week, but it's going to stay like this, feeling like summer already uh, just this early into June, and that's going for the rest of the state as well. Let's take a look at what everybody's working on today, starting with Natalie Grant. She's looking at a proposed ordinance in the Spokane City Council that will be discussed tonight at their city council meeting. Now, what they want this ordinance to do is allow the city ombudsman to uh, conduct investigations and have more power in what they're doing. Now, where this is kind of stemming from is the city council wanting an investigation into Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel, uh, who is is accused of showing favoritism to certain local business groups and providing privileged information. Now, what the ombudsman's current role is, is to conduct an investigation, present findings to the mayor, who ultimately has to green light that uh, investigation or if anything is to occur following that, any sort of punishment or anything. So what the city council, what this new ordinance would do is give the ombudsman the power to uh, pretty much go around the mayor and make those decisions themselves. So that is going to be discussed tonight at the City Council and Natalie Grant will probably explain it a little better than I did. Uh, it can be confusing, certainly. Uh, Jordan Smith, he's in Coeur d'Alene today. Now, Governor Brad Little is making a trip. He's going to be in Hayden shortly. Uh, should be landing any time now. Uh, now, this is following a recent trip that the governor took to the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, and governor Little is going to talk about how we can combat fentanyl here in the Idaho area. Uh, in addition, the governor is going to be meeting with a fentanyl, a local fentanyl victim's family, and then discuss the steps they're wanting to take uh, in order to protect Idahoans as well from uh, the fentanyl crisis here. So Jordan Smith is out there and will have more details on that. So June is uh, looking a little close to summer. Kids are out. They're going to be playing in the sprinklers. But also what starts is the city's WaterWise program. So residents are encouraged to be mindful of how much they're watering their lawns or, or flower beds. You know, try to do it not in those peak heat hours. So either before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Also be sure to water only on your home's designated days. So Vanessa is going to have all the details on how you can stay water wise, which will continue. This program continues at least uh, or till October 1st. She's also going to be speaking with neighbors who are not happy about being told when and how they should water. So Vanessa's going to have both sides of wanting to conserve water and then people who think they should just be able to water however they want. Destiny Richards, this morning, she was in Spokane Valley at Spokane Valley Pools. Uh, if you're looking for a summer job, consider being a lifeguard. They'll train you and pay you to uh, be a lifeguard at the local Spokane Valley Pools. Now, according to the Valley, they are not short-staffed. They're fully staffed, but they're looking for more people so that if someone needs to take time off or is sick, they have backups as well. So if you're looking for something to do this summer, make a little extra scratch. Uh, consider becoming a lifeguard. The lifeguards will be trained, uh, you know, get certified for CPR, and also teach swim lessons to children. So that could be fun if you're looking for something to do. And Destiny uh, was out there this morning, and her story is completed. So if you want to go on KXLY.com, you can find out more information on that. So that's all we got for today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. It was a lighter day today, which it's not always a bad thing when there's no hard news. It just means everyone's being safe out there, which is nice. Uh, so be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected TVs. That's Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. You can also download the 4 News Now mobile app 
and be sure to turn on notifications so you get notified of the latest breaking news in your community. So we'll have all those stories and more coming up tonight at 5, but for now live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY+.